Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes. As you can see, Wiggins has found our sailors. Uh, you're supposed to be underlining people. I don't know why, but... I don't know who you're supposed to underline. I just said, hey, it'll underline it for you. This is interesting. Let us review the other I think it's now. just, yeah, I think you might just have to underline all of them, maybe. This is interesting. Let us okay. review the other sailors now. This man I mean, is, is one way to do it. And his initials are PC. The same initials that were found oh, okay. on the tobacco pouch. See, now this is probably one of those things that would make more sense if you did it all in a row. Wiggins, <laughs> could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? Because unlike the ABC martyrs, you know, this Cairns. one has four different cases, maybe five. Hmm. We found Patrick and they Cairns. don't have, then Good they job, should each Wiggins. take about one sin to get through if you're doing it. Well, I but shall be fast that gear. He walked out, don't walk back in. I know, right? And, and look at that, he found where he fucking Here lived and everything. Reward. Two guineas. Thank Two guineas? You, like the little hamster things? Or, or like, like... guinea pigs? Yeah. But no, that's money. <laughs> Sounds just as fake as the rest of the British money, so... Uh... Okay, so... Uh, Peter Carey. Uh, Peter Carey, non-smoker, and Patrick Cairns, because it was his initials on the pouch. Oh, hey, look at that, it worked. Oh, your thingy went down there. I don't know why it wouldn't center it on it. I guess it just centers it. If the punch bones push it, it's pretty Yeah, all right. So whatever, you go find the guy and be like, hey, this yours, <laughs> right? Like, I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him. I uh, see, look, I told you, you get to play dress up. Uh, His room was the one on the right, with the gun above it, right? Oh, with the bookcase. Yeah. Not that door. No, not that one. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I'm gonna probably gonna have to bump our audio for this either because neither one of us is gonna want to talk very loud. So, do you think that it will help you or hinder you that you know it's like almost ten o'clock at night? And you're playing the game where you have to solve stuff. Matt a sailor open? You might have more than one, but yeah. Nope, just the one. Yeah, see, I think you can wear that instead of the other one you were wearing. All, like, as a all the dime one. Uh, and then why to go to the makeup table. Did it take it, though? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't think that it's a thing that you have to press oh, a button God. on. You went the wrong way to get back to it, didn't you? Is that a big... Yeah, right. I think I saw Bandit outfit in there. It says L. Yeah, to select your suit. You're on the suit, so hit Y. Like, if you exited now, that's what you'd be wearing. But you have to get your whole thing going here. I don't know if there's a hat you can wear. I don't think you put on glasses, but I think you need to. No, oh, I can approach Cairns. What is it with you in the B see button? If he recognizes the pouch. Oh, apparently you don't need it, so you're good to go. It's not very much of a disguise if you just put on the clothes. Oh, well, we'll just go. Okay, well remember A, not B. Okay, left and right. I didn't you, know he was you, already at the. Well, you just don't oh. have to hit the A button. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, it's sad. <laughs> See, you wear that with that unbuttoned suit or whatever you got. You got Sherlock Holmes. Oh, what the fuck is that? Hat? Oh, there you go. There's a sailor hat. It's like a little... policeman's hat. Nah, no, that's a sailor hat. Look, we're gonna go to the bar. You're gonna see at least one other guy wearing that hat. Oh my! Fucking nerd. Oh, 
Well, that's all I got. Well, you don't need to put on glasses to be a sailor. In fact, it'd probably make more sense if you didn't have glasses. But you gotta give him, like, the biggest, bushiest beard ever if he's gonna be a sailor, like... Oh my, he's not French. Oh, there we go. There's a sailor. All right, now just beat it. Now I can. It's the most sailorly Sherlock Holmes ever. He recognizes the power. So that should have unlocked the point on your map there that you can travel to. What's wrong? Just oh, where are you going? I'm going out the door. Why? Because I felt like it. <laughs> yeah, the Sea Witch Pub. Now, uh, I can't remember, I don't think there's a way to fuck this up, but I'm not, I don't actually know if there's a way, I don't think there's any real way to fuck up anything in here except to uh, make your optional deductions wrong. Okay. Because, you know, you can accuse the wrong person and everything, but I don't think any individual thing you can fuck up. Uh... Now, we don't know what this guy looks like, though, do we? Not even a little Try that guy. He's standing alone. Nope. Oh, try the guy at the table. Yeah, well, I'm looking he for looks a sailor drunk. dude. There you go. You're looking for what? The sailor dude, well, not... I mean, they're all sailors. That dude dressed in that suit was not a sailor. Oh, well, probably not. But... Hello there. Came in here. Are you cared? <laughs> what do you want? an option. Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely son, and I'm up for it. I start at uh, ten shillings. Suits me. Now you're gonna have to arm wrestle this guy, Mama. I don't remember what you do for it. Okay. Okay, pay attention to your stamina. Remember, push, restrain, idle. You gotta push when he's idle. You gotta restrain when he pushes. And you gotta watch his face. And you got A to push, right trigger to restrain. Oh, I don't know. So, yeah, when he starts doing that, you restrain. And then as soon as he lets up, push. Oh, God, he's really going for it. I mean, you're almost out of stamina. And he hasn't. Oh, you gotta watch his face, though. See, he tightened up. You, really, you think there's really... Apparently you can hold both buttons at the same time. Oh, 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 I think you got yeah. Oh, God. Push, Mom, push. You can't hold both at the same time. Ah, he got ya. That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? Oh, hit X, you can profile him. Okay, well, gold earring is the first one. <laughs> Gotta hit A on him, remember. Uh, cheap something, maybe? Remember your bumpers. Uh, I can't really make out what any of the rest of them are. Remember, keep your cursor going, though. Okay, keep going. He's got a shitty shirt, sweater, whatever. Oh, there you go. Oh, cheap clothes. Uh, oh, worn hands or something to that effect. So that should be your next one. Oh, strong hands. That's not a hand. Well, I mean, his hands are attached to it. Uh, tattoo. And yellow nails, apparently. Find his tattoos, though. That's the last one. Oh, there it is. It's got a Popeye tattoo. Tattoo. Alright. Let's see if you can take him. You have to. You gotta do it. No, I don't. Yes, you do. It says I can quit. That's not gonna work. Why? Because he's not gonna talk to you if you just give up. And you don't actually have any money in this game, so you can lose really all of Sherlock's money. Again. It makes no difference to you. <laughs> it doesn't affect your game you at all. You want me to take all your money? No problem with that. Now, there might have been an achievement tied to this, but as we found out earlier, 
this game is done with its main menu system and you've been playing on my profile the entire time. Oh, restrain. Restrain, restrain. Push, push. Nope. Uh, push. Oh, oh. So I think... Okay, well that's definitely a... Uh, yeah. Okay, push. Oh, he's... Push. Push. <laughs> oh. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. Oh. Oh, come on. Push. Are you holding both buttons again? No. <laughs> I kicked your ass twice, Mom. Twice. <laughs> That's the arm that killed a okay, hundred whales. I don't know if you actually Care have to, to lose do that. Ten but... shillings? <laughs> We've had enough. You're too strong. <laughs> Well, he, was he Come the harpoon or was he something else? Can use what was your he? Helmsman, <laughs> maybe? I don't remember what he was on the list. He killed some whales, so I would imagine he's using a harpoon. Well, that doesn't mean that he was like, you do have to beat him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not funny. It is funny. Yeah, go ahead. I'm ready to yeah, show you all right. Me. Are you going to feel bad if I do this one? No. No? <laughs> All right, Patrick Karn, Cairns, whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think so. Uh uh uh. Uh uh. Oh, you gotta tap A to push. It's my bad. They didn't explain that very well. My stamina come back. Uh, I don't think so. Nope, nope. Stamina. Stamina. Uh, no. Oh, the controller vibrates when he starts to push too. Uh. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Uh. Wow, you go nowhere when you fucking... Come on, come on, come on. Wow, alright. Really, dude? Nah, uh, uh. See, because when his lip does that, that means that he's. Oh, no. Okay, and just a little bit more stamina, a little bit more stamina. No, come on, dude. Wow. Again, Jesus Christ, dude, give it up already. You know, this is how guys like tear ligaments while they're arm wrestling. Come on, come on. Centered it. Oh. Okay, I see why you're having so much issue with this. This guy. Why, why you gotta arm wrestle a sailor, Sherlock? Come on. Can't you have, like, arm wrestled, like, the school kid or something? Make yourself feel better. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No. I can't get any fucking stamina back to do this. Can you keep... Oh, you see that? I'm getting them. I'm getting <laughs> This is a long fucking mini game. No. 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 Come on. Come on. No. No. Got him. Yep. 
Okay, well, I did do it on my first try, but you had the wrong controls, and it still took me like fucking minutes to beat him. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. Oh my god, you have to keep. Yeah. Mom, that. Right, that enough. You're too strong. Come back later <laughs> when you can use your arms again. Why do you have to keep doing it? Because the game says you do. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Mom. The game gives you two options, and if one of them is I quit, it's the wrong option. <laughs> They're not gonna just let you bug out. You probably have to beat them like three times because it's again. video game. And right. everything's three you fucking times. But now you can try it with the right control. No problem with that. So when you're pushing, you gotta tap no, it. I want to. Oh, God. Stupid. I agree. Got him good that time. Please be done. Let us finish. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger All right. than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy oh, you a you drink. Go. I think you need oh, I'm we 20, dude. Well, well yeah, that's true. Well, I, did he give us the ten the first time? When I beat him the first time, did he give us ten? You're I don't remember reading type. it. But. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. <coughs> Why do you say poor? I'm glad we don't you're have to do that again. I really don't remember that in the game. So hopefully the that's the only rare. time you have to do don't it. Pay much. So as a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger, we sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. I don't know why, though. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar and violent, too. Swigging those fists of his around. He's a tyrant and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. Great Roger, I, I heard he was a very yes. jolly man. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, oh. and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn, and I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she'd foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. It's a good thing that his one story that he had to tell it just coincided perfectly with our investigation. Eh? During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye, even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. Had to zoom in on that. Nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. I mean, there's no point in telling anybody. I mean, like... Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Uh, 
like, have you planted his pouch, or, or do you currently have to plant it? That just brings that up. So, determine owner, yeah. Okay, so walk up to him. Stop hitting that button. It's going to be A, but you got to get like right next to him. You're supposed to plant the pouch on him. So you probably got to put it in his jacket that's on his chair. And right stick down. Well, to look down. There you go. Okay, I don't know why you have to do that, but all right. Here it is. <laughs> See, that's one of those things where it's like, why? Why did they make you do it? You don't think he's going to be suspicious? You walked behind him for a couple seconds Have and you then you sat back down in front of We've him? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, oh, oh it is. Hmm. Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. Well, I'll tell him about you. Maybe, yeah. if you like, I. Was that the I'm name of his here. boat? It's time no. to leave. I don't know. All right. Uh, so now what are you supposed to do? Why did it still say talk to him? I I don't know. Because maybe you can talk to him. Care to lose Either that or else. Oh, he can arm, no. he can arm wrestle him again. Uh, hit Y or whatever he brings up your journal. Uh, not that one. Uh, I don't think any of those go together, do they? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now you have another choice. You can either prove that he's guilty or it proves that he was there. So which one do you think the pouch or do you think him owning that pouch proves? It could also prove somebody stole from him. Well that could be, but you have to assume one of these because of a video game. Hmm? Is he guilty or was he just visiting? Or which does it I guess make would he's be, guilty? I, I agree. Okay. So what brings up your journal? No. Oh. The button you told me to stop hitting. Well, you, you kept hitting it when you didn't need to. Go here. The first tab there. Right bumper. It should get you all the way over there. I think it will skip across. Nope, it won't. All right. And this bumper appears to be broken. Oh, again? Yeah, it, I don't know. Granted, it gets used a lot, but. One Where more. am I going? Well, one more, and I'll tell you. Hit left bumper. Okay. Oh, you have to go back and uh, interrogate Nelligan again. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of back and forth in this. Like a significant. Uh, except in the one with the train, I don't think that you ever have to go backwards in that one. I think you have the option to, but I don't think you ever have to. But I could be wrong. <laughs> so you're going to show up at the police station like this to interrogate him. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, 
It would suck if they wouldn't let you. I would just, oh, nope, he changed. Oh, <laughs> now his hair popped in. <laughs> uh, that was weird. So is that the suit that you were wearing before, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why do we need to talk to this guy again? I don't even remember. I'm not uh, nope, saying not that guy. another word. Yeah, I think he's sitting in the corner. Yeah, there he is. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Nope. Okay, hit Y to go back to your things. Maybe we got to link up more stuff. So, try a... Uh, what's her confession? That she was sleeping. Let's go over it, though. So it'll give us a... Okay, well, try and link that with his letter. Maybe that'll give us something. Aha, it did. All right. Oh, there you go. See, and then when you get them linked, then it give you another thing. So these ones here that link up like that, those ones that you have choices on, Depending on what choices you pick, they'll link up more and more. Okay, so now you just can hit right bumper and it'll go back to your clues and we can see if we can link up anything else. Uh, what about her with her own letters? Oh, now you got a choice though, see? It broke your line because it added an option. Oh, there you go, see? Now, was it harmless flirty, flirting or was it desperate jealousy? Hmm? Which do you think? I don't know. Because he could have just been doing it harmlessly, but, you know, he knew a dude was beating her, so. Well, I mean that, yeah. But, I mean, oh, going for the desperate jealousy. Oh, what the hell? You made a butthole. Oh, and now you get, well, I mean, it does give him a motive, but that doesn't mean he did it, but, which is it, Mom? Nah, still didn't do it. Oh, they don't sync up, though. See, so that one there is because you, when you put the other two together, it unlocked Hurtley's Innocence. That's why you have both of them now. The fact that it's red means that that doesn't make sense and you have to change one or the other. You either have to say that it was harmless flirting or say that he had a motive. Okay, get, get your clues again. That wasn't your clues. That's right, bumpers for your clues. Not when you're in this menu. <laughs> now hit right bumper <laughs> okay so those two are probably linked up because all because you know the break-in attempts were nope because we already tried that all right okay so we got so what the fuck do... okay exit all that and bring up your journal again maybe there'll be something else that we need or that we can uh uh search for like in the newspapers and shit. Uh, wherever your clues are. Oh, there you go. Find a use for the bond certificate. Right stick changes the page. There, the reading. Right stick. There you go. Okay, so you can try and uh, find that. I don't, I don't know if we'll have anything in the encyclopedias about that, but we might. Because other than that, like you can go back through their other things and see, but there's not going to be anything else at the Woodsman Lee, right? No, you wouldn't think so. I mean, we investigated the fuck out of it. 
done all of our deductions that we can now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ugh. Been playing for a half hour already. I feel like we've done nothing. We have. Well, we are just wrestling. arm wrestled a dude. Well, we put some deductions together. So hopefully we have something that'll help us with this. I just don't know exactly what it would be. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Oh, apparently you don't need to. Okay, but you have letters on your thing. See if maybe that'll help. I doubt it, but you have a letter, I guess. This is where I keep my post. Okay, apparently no. It's just where you keep your post. So, what the fuck are we supposed to do now, then? Oh. I mean, we put all of our deductions together. It's given us nothing. We need to find a use for the Pacific Railway thing, but we have, don't have we anything. Patrick we Kirk. must... He's the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? You That's not Patrick one of our deductions that we're allowed to make. Do you believe he's the murderer? And you're not even allowed to go back to the bar, right? That wasn't in your thing. So the only place you could go back to is Woodman's Lee. But we don't have anything here. We weren't allowed to interrogate anybody there, and there was no more evidence to have, right? Because there was only the two suspects. We went through all of it. He stole all the shit he's going to steal. Why in first person and your detective vision? <laughs> Right bumper for your vision. There you go. Back to the world of the color. Ah, red. Um, we could go back to Woodman's Lee. See if we can find something. I mean, the only thing you can do at Scotland Yard is uh, look at evidence and then interrogate people, neither of which, well, we did all the evidence, we aren't allowed to interrogate anybody else, apparently. So, I mean, it's got to be something here. We finished talking to the lady, so obviously that has nothing to do with the bond certificate. There must be something in the cabin that has to do with that bond certificate that we found. Maybe there, did we find more of those in there? I don't remember seeing any more, but you're right. Where are you going? You want to talk to her? You, we... She's not crying anymore, so you yeah, know, she, she might have something else to say. She's is she still crying? Yeah, she's still crying. It's a video game. Don't you know characters never do anything unless I'm you're there to witness them? I mean, you can still try talking to her. Well, I mean, either it <sighs> goes into... Please. Yeah, just let me alone. Okay, so we looked all up in there. There was nothing, right? But to be fair, I also thought the same thing about the cabin down here, so. Because the only thing that we had down here that didn't clear itself was the books, but we ha already went back and did a thing with those. Okay, the so that doesn't Nicole. help. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. If it's green, it means you've already examined it. Don't care. Well, I mean, if it's green, that means that it's not going to give you anything new and it's not going to help you progress. Right, Stickmon? Right stick. You actually gotta look around in this key. <laughs> gotta be close to it and look at it. Ugh. Okay. Table of two glasses. What about that sh No, that's right, you couldn't investigate that shelf, right? Wouldn't let you. Okay, and then that was the missing box over there. Yeah, also green. What about the, the, can you check the books again that he had there? I think it was just his ship's logs though, right? Try walk, like turning towards him maybe, I don't know. And not looking at the ceiling. Or look more at the ceiling. There you go. Okay, so that's worthless, all right. What about in the chest? Doubt there'll be anything different in there, but it 
turn it. Nope, just all right. Well, what the fuck? What else could we possibly be missing? See, this is one of those times where it'd be nice if the game just was like, hey, like, give us something, right? Like, hey, you're missing something here. Or you need to be here, you know, just something. Because it's so weird how sometimes it's like, hey, go here, do this. And then other times it's like, figure it out. Because the only thing we had for our clues was that bond certificate, right? And it even just said, find a use. Like, that was it. It's like, ooh, thanks for the help. I'll get right on that. Where did we even get that from? That was in somebody's belongings, right? Was it in that box? No, that was the love letters between the gardener and oh, her. Oh, yeah. Oh, she made the other cow in there. Those sacks look like a whale. Okay, so nothing in here then. Oh my god, so where the fuck do we have to go? I... This computer's been so fucking slow lately. It's ridiculous. You know, it's a good thing that the character's head doesn't follow where you're looking otherwise it would make you would make Sherlock Holmes always just look depressed because he always just like walks along staring at his shoes come on thank you fuck me He did do a very good job on the garden, I'll give him that. Everything's pretty nice and straight. Yeah, I don't know. Guess try Scotland Yard, maybe you can talk to one of the cops. Whatever the fuck, Lestrade or whatever. Open the fucking gate. That brings up your map so that you can travel to the exit. Any time I hit A before, it just opens the door. Yeah, except that the door that leads out of the area. Yeah, well, why can't we go look out there? Because apparently the game says that there's nothing out there. And odds are this game is like most games that have boundaries like that, where if you actually like manage to detach the camera and go look, there's literally nothing out there. this now. Go away. I don't even know what the fuck you are. Gonna check their shit out again? Nothing there. Oh, well, wait. Go to the first guys, the Nelligans. Because can you check out his shit again? Because maybe you can compare his... You're not even allowed to check his shit out again, are you? Oh, there you go. Oh. Because maybe you can compare. Look at his yeah, his notepad again. Oh, there we go. We found it. I wonder if these are connected. I didn't even think of that. Okay, so Canadian Pacific Railway. Eight five three two. The numbers match up. Well, you know the numbers that we have. Up one more thing. I'm trying to. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. Alright, so, I mean, we found it before I could even get a walkthrough up to Logan and tell us what the fuck we were supposed to be doing. Oh, there you go, you got another. Uh, so the missing papers, probably in the tin box, right? 
I still don't remember where the fuck we found that one piece of paper. Top left. Okay. Hello? Okay, yeah, sure. Alright. Uh, what do you think, Mom? You think it's two murderers? Because if not, you gotta change shit so that he asks more questions. Uh, and the only thing you could possibly change right now, I do believe, would be Hurley's. Or Hurley's, I guess. Shit. You have to change the other one, too. That's the one you're on already. Okay, now change the Desperate Jealousy one. Okay, and that gives us... Nothing. Hit left bumper. Oh, okay. See, so now as you the you can actually just give you the conclusion. So now back out of this and see if maybe you'll have another option. There's six uh cases by the way. Hopefully these two link up. Yeah they do. Oh there you go. Gives you something. Breaking attempts were in made in order to recover the notebook. Where Nelligan was looking for his father's paper. Which one do you think? And this leads us to, oh, there you go, we got another butt. Guilty or innocent, mom. I don't, I don't think he picked it. Yeah, I don't think so either. Okay, so. That was all of our clues again, right? Okay, now open up your notebook and see if they give you another. That's not your notebook button. You gotta just stop hitting the buttons that they show you on the screen. Oh, there you go. You dialogue so you can go talk to Nelligan again. I forgot that that's a thing you can do. Or that they actually give you at least some kind of hint there. A little bit more of a hint with the bond certificate would have been nice, though. Just saying. You know, find a use for it isn't really much of a hint. But yeah, I think that that might stay up there the entire time now because... Please escort this have a conclusion that you made. Interrogation. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think any of the people that you meet first ever did it in this game. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan. What exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I... I was trying to find some information about my father. X. Got it there. Why? Tell me, Mr. Nelligan. What exactly? Why is the sharp knife proof that inside Peter Carey? What does the sharp knife have to do with him breaking into I, the cabin? I, I was trying to find Ready some for information eggs. about my father. Remember, hit it once. Now try the right thing. I assume you had another purpose to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. 
Well, I will see you soon, young man. All right. Hit now. Hit Y. See if you got new clues. Uh, right bumper. Well, I doubt they got enough clues to make up anything. Okay. I utilized all clues in the case. It says that you got all of them, really? Okay, so... Wait, no, leave that one. Go down to the Pouch Proofs video and try Pouch Proofs Guilt and see if that changes anything. Does it? Oh, there you go. So you can say that Karen's is guilty then. So now the question is, Mom, who do you think did it? Which do you think makes more sense out of your three suspects? Well, out of all three of them, I think yeah, Karen's the only one that could have had the... Oh, you have to eat too. Or, but, oh, you hit X. Why? I uh, think yeah, wait, he's wait, the wait, only go. one that could have put the harpoon through him. Yeah. Okay, but now, wait for a second. Go to stolen valuable papers. Oh, never mind. No, the looking for papers one. Sorry. And change it. No, or you can put it back after. That that's the same one. Okay, now go to his innocence and put it on the other one. Okay, now go to the feet of strength and change it to lucky throw. And then change your pouch. Okay, now that should give you that conclusion. You can change it back now. I, you know, I okay, I'm not gonna lie. For a minute there, I forgot that we were on my profile, which already has that achievement. Because there is an achievement for, in this game for uh, finding every one of those yellow orbs. Uh, Now you just go click on the yellow orb and confirm it. Okay. Now the ultimate moral choice in this game, which I think you get on the majority of them, if not every one of them. Now see, I think there is... Achievement's tied to this, too. I want to say that you ha might have to go through this game twice. But I'm not sure. Because I think there might be one for choosing, like, all of blue and another one for choosing all of green. Because I think the green one is, like, for justice, you know? Yeah, well, I think it should be the X one because well, he probably was a raging... Because even his wife said he was a raging alcoholic. And fucking wailed on her whenever and he got drunk. Yeah. he said himself how miserable he was. Yeah. To well, the I dude mean, overboard. it's your game, Mom. It's up to you. You hit a hex? Yeah? I hit a hex and yeah. Okay. I don't know what happens when you hit a Uh, where are we going? Well, I I don't know, because you were already at the police station. So you would think they'd go and tell Lestrade, right? But maybe you're going back to Baker Street. Oh, the next day. Man, the loading screens in this game take a while sometimes. 
Come on, game. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain, a Captain <laughs> Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is Sherlock Holmes. A detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. Okay, I'm gonna warn you right now. About if you condemn him, who was killed you end up in a fist fight with him where you gotta hit buttons quickly. You know. I don't know what happens when you do this. Yes. How? Because he's that good. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. This is really interesting to me. I've never seen these before. <laughs> It's good that you asked me to come <laughs> like, Because according to this, yeah, the achievement is just to condemn everybody one. as you go along. So what do you mean? Never seen. Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message by your little thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventral. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. Oh, I'll tell you I everything, mean, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Orange cake? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favorite. I'll hop buttering him up so he'll believe the lie. <laughs> ah, Mr. Holmes. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities? Incredible! But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me, this is extraordinary. You are a genius! Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Oh, fuck, you can actually change your <laughs> conclusion right now. Uh, yeah, just accept it. I gotta tell you, that turned out a lot better than condemning him. <laughs> when you condemn him, like I said, you end up in a fist fight with him, you have to knock him out. Uh... Oh, you got the sympathizing personality, Mom. Good work. You're so sympathetic to their cause. All right, but that is good enough for this video. Finish the case on a video. Seems good. 55 minutes. We'll start that one when we come back next week and start our second of how many investigations did I say there was? I think you said there were six. Six? Six investigations. This one is the one that you can end super early. Like you can you can get like three or four conclusions like almost immediately or like clues almost immediately to be like they did it. And just finish it. Just be like fuck it, I'm done. Obviously very wrong. <laughs> uh so thank everybody for watching and we will see you next time.